These are the video notes for section 4.2, Solving Systems of Equations by Substitution. We have four steps when we're solving systems of equation by substitution, and we're going to go over each one with this first example. So the first step says choose an equation and solve for a variable. Luckily in our system, the top equation they already solved for y, so we can skip the first step. Step 2 says substitute the value of step 1, so the value of step 1 would be negative 2x plus 10 in for the other equation. So this equation, every time I see the variable y, I'm going to replace it with negative 2x plus 10. So I have 3x plus 5 times negative 2x plus 10 equals 8. The third step says to solve, so we're going to solve this multi-step equation. We're going to distribute the 5, combine like terms, Subtract 50 on both sides. Divide both sides by negative 7. X is equal to 6. So now step 4. Take the solution from step 3. The solution was X equals 6. And substitute it to any equation from the problem. So either equation will be fine. Uh, to find the value of the other variable. So I'm going to choose the first equation y equals negative 2 times 6, because 6 is from our solution, plus 10. y is equal to negative 12 plus 10. y is equal to negative 2. So the solution is 6 comma negative 2. In our next system of equation, I'm going to take the top equation I'm going to solve for y. So when I solve for y, I will have 2x minus y equals negative 15. Subtract 2x on both sides. Negative y is equal to negative 2x minus 15. Divide everything by negative 1. y is equal to 2x plus 15. So now I'm going to get, take this value and substitute it into the other equation. And then solve. So we get x is equal to negative 4 when we solve the multi-step equation. I'm going to take x equals negative 4. I'm going to substitute it into the top equation. So 2 times negative 4 minus y equals negative 15. Negative 8 minus y equals negative 15. Add 8 on both sides. Negative y is equal to negative 7. Divide both sides by negative 1. y is equal to 7. So the solution to the system is negative 4. 7. In our next system of equations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for x for the first one. x is equal to 3y plus 5. I'm going to take this value and substitute it in for x. So I have negative 2 times 3y plus 5 plus 6y is equal to 2. Distribute the 2. Combine like terms. If you notice in this example, I, when I combine like terms, the y's um, become 0 and I end up with negative 10 equals 2. Since this is a false statement, recall that means that there is no solution. And conversely, if you end up with a true statement, then you will get all solutions for your system of equations. So for this one, it is no solution. In our next system of equations, I'm going to solve for y for the top equation. y is equal to 4x plus 1. I'm going to substitute that into the second equation. 8x minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 5. Distribute the negative sign. Combine like terms. Add 1 to both sides. 4x is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 4 x is equal to 3 halves. So now I'm going to take this x equals 3 halves. I'm going to substitute it into my top equation. Negative 4 times 3 halves plus y is equal to 1. Negative 4 times 3 halves is a negative 6. Add 6 on both sides. The 
y is equal to 7. So the solution here is 3 halves comma 7.